see that gigabytes has been converted in megabytes well just write in here in megabytes format or you can copy and paste also then click on sync now you can see that a free space has been created in the e drive next just right click on this free space click on new simple volume then click on next 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 and next, then click on finish. That's it. Now you can see that a new volume has been created. Well, let me show you. Yeah, that's the new volume. I that has been created. Well, I am going to delete this new volume because I made it only to show you. Alright, now I am going to 
to double click on Windows 7 disk image file. Then double click on setup.exe. Yeah. Then click on install now. Now be patient for a while. Then select do not update installation option. To accept Microsoft terms, just click on this checkbox. Then click on next. Now this is the most important step. Don't select first option. I mean upgrade option. Select custom advanced option. Then you will see the partition of your computer's disk. Then select the partition which that you created for Windows 7. I have select the partition number 2 which that I created for Windows 7. Then click on next. Now be patient for a while until the process is complete. Do not do anything.
not do anything. Do not do anything. Type your name or which you want. I am writing my channel name here and next. Type your password and click on next. If you have not any product key then just skip it. Then finally click on next, that's it. Now let's see Windows 10 is working properly or not.
like, of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Dislike, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.